Welcome back, Vaqueros, and welcome to our last Warzone shotgun update video. This is going to be the last one, as far as I know, for Warzone 1, since Warzone 2 is coming out very shortly in just a couple months. We got some shotgun buffs with this giant update, though, along with some other guns and some underused guns. They decided to buff some of the ones here that weren't being very used very often. And among these, we got some pretty cool buffs that you'll see shortly. So for this video, we're just going to go over all the stuff on paper, and then I'll have dedicated videos for most of these later. Later in a few days and all that stuff so buckle up and let's just get into it but for the first one we have the shotgun bravo aka the gallo and as you can see a massive buff all this stuff is a buff none of this is a, is a nerf so that's really cool to see first of all we got some damage increases for basically every range but the first one and as you can see it does change our shots to kill and now it's actually a three four five and then a five shot kill that is not bad at all. Yeah, it's going to take a second to kill at these ranges, and it's probably going to take more than five shots, but that is much better than it was. This is more in line with the Gracie Auto now, so I'm really happy to see that. The Gallo is definitely making a comeback here. As you can see, also, the aim down sight speed was a buff because, as you can tell, the time decreased, which means that the speed increased because if you take less time, you're going to be moving faster, essentially. So this is a buff to aim down sight speed. Also, movement speed increased about 2%. Reinforced heavy barrel damage range increase to 18% up from 11. That is a great buff. So the reinforced heavy barrel just got even better. I'm not sure why they buffed this one because it was already really good. So this is awesome to see. This is definitely a comeback for the Gallo. I think you're going to see a lot more people start to use it because of this, even though it's not like, you know, God tier amazing. It's strong. It's going to be strong up close. So watch out for that. And yeah, you're seeing this right. The 410 Ironhide got another buff, and it wasn't just the first range this time. They actually went in and did something right, and they basically changed to where all the other pellet damages, the base pellet damages, were increased. Unfortunately, it's still going to be a two-shot headshot and a three-shot body shot in the next range, which is the important range here, that 2.5 to 8.6 meters with no attachments. So unfortunately, it's still not the greatest, but this is essentially identical to how it was at 250 health, which is awesome. That's good to see. It's still not going to be the greatest shotgun ever. It's still really difficult to use, but hey, this is cool. I'm so glad to see they gave it love and made it to where it was it's basically performing at least how it was before all the crazy health changes to rebirth and stuff like that. So that's really awesome. The next big one here is the combat shotgun. As you can see, slug rounds finally caught a buff. Oh my god, finally, the niche weapon type that I love finally got some love. So this is great to see, but we'll get to, into that in a second. First of all, Buck and Slug, this was included in the 410 Ironhide section, but I think it meant to be down here, so I just kind of included it here. But as you can see, headshot damage has been increased, so that's probably going to be one of the better ammo types to use overall, even though you lose four pellets. I think it's going to be doing a lot more damage if you hit a headshot. Probably not going to be able to like one-shot headshot, but... Then we also got a rechamber time decrease by 10%, which is essentially, I believe, the rate of fire. So we're going to be shooting just a little bit faster, which, dude, that's that's awesome. That's a really good buff, actually. And then we have slug rounds. And as you can see on the right here, this is the base slug round attachment. No other attachments, just slugs. And this is what we had before the update. With this update, it's basically dealing 120 body damage now. And if you look at the multiplier for head, 2.5x. So if you multiply one point, or I'm sorry, if you multiply 120 by 2.5, you're going to get over 300 health, which means whatever barrel you use, it doesn't matter. You will get one shot headshots, assuming they didn't change anything or put a cap on the damage, which I highly doubt. This can one-shot headshot, and that is amazing to see because now we can use whatever barrel we want, and that's going to be so awesome to play with. I'm really excited about that. Even the hipfire barrel, that's probably going to be a lot of fun to use because, I mean, it's so tight and small to spread for that. I'm excited to check it out, but hopefully there's no cap and we can actually headshot like I'm saying. But it's definitely going to be viable again if you get that one-shot headshot. Unfortunately, still going to be a three-shot body shot most of the time. So aim for the head, and you're going to have some fun with it. Then last but not least, the Street Sweeper. They just kind of had to throw this in there. Nothing really crazy here. The mid-range two-pallet damage increased to 14 up from 12. So as you can see here, it's basically going to be in the last two ranges, a six-shot to kill now instead of how it was before, which I think was a seven. So yeah, it is stronger now at, at range, of course. Up close, it's still going to decimate, but at range... It's going to be a little bit more consistent. It's still going to take probably more than six shots to kill, but this is great to see. And that's it. That's all the shotgun changes that we had that I know of. I don't know if there's any stealth buffs yet, but that's pretty much going to cover it, guys. So I'm really excited about using slugs again. I really, really enjoy using that one-shot headshot build. 
I know it's not even close to being overpowered, but it's just so much fun to use. And so I'm really excited to go in and try this. I'll have a dedicated video for this, probably the Gallo, probably the Ironhide. We'll see as time goes on and, you know, Warzone 2 is coming. So be ready for more content on that. But that's going to do it, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you learned something useful from this. I hope you got some fun ideas on what classes you can set up now. But with all that being said, I will see you guys in the next video.